Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. One of the most requested guns I'm asked to print is the thorn from the game Destiny. So, let's do it. Let's print a thorn. Ready? Go. Hey, look at that. We're back. I've already printed the thorn, technically, but I filmed it in a time lapse. So, let's get to that. Here you go. Time lapse. Ah, there we go. All done and complete. I've got, look at that, look at that. That's thorn pieces. This is thorn pieces. I've already pulled them from the printer. Let me tell you about the individual pieces themselves. Here's the barrel pieces. These pieces lock together. Let's see if I can do it. They lock together like so and create the giant barrel for the thorn. These pieces came out really well. Uh, one issue I had on this piece right here is I forgot to enable supports. Thankfully, my GMAX printer is able to bridge pretty well. So it, I don't know if you can see it, but it, it did a good job and it's still pretty, it's still pretty level in there. It's still good. So these are good. Here's these. These are the pieces of the thorn that go around the, the cartridge, I guess. The barrels connect up on this side and then the handle connects up over here with these dovetail joints. One of the issues I had with this is the pegs on the inside. On the inside, there are these pegs that the components fit around and the peg that the trigger attaches to on both sides fell off when I was taking the support material out. Thankfully, I printed this. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. It's probably blurry too. It's tiny. It's tiny, but, but, I used OpenSCAD to create a new peg, and that peg will sit right here and connect up on this side, and I'll be able to attach the trigger to these pieces, so I don't have to reprint these pieces. And these pieces use a fair amount of filament, so I've, I've saved myself some filament, and I'm being creative by fixing things. I feel good about myself. Digital high five, right? Here's this. This piece right here and a small uh, little peg print and then this prints and then they, you attach them together. So as you can see, it spins, it spins. And that will go inside right here.
Here's the handle. The handle prints in two pieces. The main model you find on my mini factory has this as one piece and it's a little bit harder to print. There is someone who created a two piece version of this and uploaded it to my mini factory and I'll put that link and of course the link to this entire project down in the comments. The handle came out really good. I really like the handle. It'll be able to glue together nicely. The handle, let's see if I can show you. So for these pieces right here, side goes here and this side goes there. There we go. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Like that, it's perfect. And then I'll go here. God, that is a, that is a big hand cannon. That is a big gun. This is the part that can go incredibly wrong. I have to use this drill to drill a small hole in either side of this so that this tiny little gray peg that I printed as a replacement for the one that fell off will fit. Wish me luck. One of the things I was afraid of, there's not a lot of space there, so I put a hole through it, but luckily, paint takes care of that. There we go. I think I've got it. It's not the most elegant solution, but that's what's great with 3D printing. It's a manufacturing process that's you can rough in and then apply finishing touches. Imagine you're building a house. You have to frame in a wall and you've got sheetrock. Then you have to tape the sheetrock and prime and paint and add trim and hang your family photos. And So yeah, this is essentially building the walls. Let's see if you can see it. So there it is in there and it goes into a little groove on the other side and I can apply glue and the trigger will hold just fine. Let's try and rough in a fit, what do you say? Here's the trigger piece. I'm gonna put it in right here. Here's the hammer that's gonna go up here. This piece will go from the other side. Let's see if it fits. I thought. So far, so good. Triggers in, last but not least, the handle. This is a big gun. <laughs> Look at that. It's not glued, but it's, um, it's just kind of slid into place. Boy, that looks good. What do you think? Does it fit my hand? Oh yeah, it fits my hand. Boom, 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 boom. This is neat. Boy, this turned out great. Uh, hey, you know, uh, you should print one of these. Everybody should have one of these. One of these. This is. This is fantastic. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. If you wanna print your own Thorn and you love the game Destiny, because who doesn't, the link is down below. You'll find the link to My Mini Factory where Kirby Downey, the designer of this gun, has posted his files. Be sure to tip Kirby, he's pretty awesome. Give him a high five. I put his contact information down in the comments as well. Thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. No build. Ever comes off perfect for me, but we were able to fix it with a drill and we put in a, a little peg here. It'll be sanded down, it'll be painted, 
this gun will be slaying the darkness in no time. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I love making these videos, and the fact that you guys watch them uh, really means a lot to me. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Be sure to tell people you love them. And as always, high five.